Welcome back to Mapping with the County of Peterborough. Let's take a look at our search tools. The search is located at the top of the toolbar. You can select that and you'll find that there are four options that become available to you. Clear markup will clear any selections that happen to be made as you're working. But let's start with address. By clicking on address, you'll come into the address search option and it starts with street. So we always begin with street because we know all of the streets in the county and once you enter them, it'll narrow it down your search. So let's say we're looking for the municipal office in the township of Durodummer. It's located at 894 South Street. When I start to type south, all I need is a minimum of three characters to begin a search. But when I type search, I bring up every street located within the township of Autonomy South Monaghan because south is also located there. So let's type a little more. And we'll limit it down to south ST. And you'll notice now that I've got South String Island is coming up and South Street. It'll locate south anywhere within the body of the, the uh, text. So you'll see that South Street and South String Island, Belmont Lake, South String Island are both coming up. Select the one I'm interested in. And then all of the available addresses on that street will become visible. I'm going to select 894, click Find, and the address I'm interested in will be uh, brought up on the map face there. So if I want to know anything more about it, I can click on the result over here and you'll see that there are four tabs. Description is blank, but details gives you the address. Your MPAC roll number is located here. And the current council representation is uh, also on a tab along with the website link to the to the municipal office. Let's say now that we're looking for the road shard for the County of Peterborough. I'm going to search for that with the the full MPAC roll number and it's going to it's going to run the search here. You'll find this on your tax your tax bill or your impact notification. And I can click on that again to bring up more information. If I want to look for something using the township tool, I can click the township button here. And what that does is it allows me to search by lots or concessions within historic geographic townships. So although Duro Dummer is the current township, when it was surveyed, Duro and Dummer were separate. So let's take a look in Dummer. And I'm going to look for concession 11. Now they're sorted numerically, which means that 10 follows 1. And then after I get through everything that begins with a 1, I'm going to get into 2, 3, 4, 5, and etc. So I'm going to go to concession 11, lot 25, and it's in the 2s. Click Find. And all parcels related to that are going to come up. You'll see that when I hover over one, this is the county forest, it, uh, it selects all blocks that were located in the county forest. And then there's a second option here, and these two are both connected to my search on concession 11, lot 25. Let's go back over here to layers and search a little more. The filter option at the top will allow me to limit down the layers until I can find what I'm looking for. So I've typed in C-O-N-C, and it limits it down to lots and concessions, which is where we store that. By turning that on, I can zoom in on the map, and I know these two are both selected, so it's gotta be up near the top here. You can see that Dummer Concession 11, Lot 25 is at the top, and these, my tabs at the bottom, allow me to switch between tools. Both of these parcels were selected. So the reason that they were both selected is they both cross this. You may bring in properties that are just outside that lot and concession because the lot and concessions don't map up, match up to the parcel fabric that we have drawn. Um, it's possible. So when you see a parcel listing, it is meant to bring in geographically to the area, not to say specifically that the parcel you're looking at is defined as being on that lot or concession. So just have a look around and see what makes sense to you. The... Um, the other option we have here is using the search toolbar at the top. I can also look for roll numbers, for instance. So let's take a look again for that municipal yard. Click it here. You can see it's come up here, but not on the map face. So let me open that up and click on it all the way through. I have the option of either closing the information window at the bottom, but I can also use this slider here to drag it up or down. So I can still see some of the information, but now I've got more room on my map face.
to actually see what it is I'm looking at. Once I know what I want down here, I can close this and I can reopen it any time from the results at the left. Finally, under our toolbar, under Tools, there is the Query option. By clicking on Query, I can select any of the layers on the map. They're located under Data Source. I'm going to choose the Lakes Local Scale. I'm going to choose all of the map, not just the area I'm looking at right now, and say all of the following must be true. So I can use more than one option. But in this case, I'm going to say the official name, off name, contains, and let's take a look for Round Lake, R O N. So R-O-U, and then I don't have to type the whole thing, just a few characters will get me there. Select Round Lake, click Search. I'm getting a warning at the top that the feature I'm interested in exceeds 5,000 vertices, which are all the little bends in the lake, and you'll see that lakes often do that, so it can't highlight it. That's all it's saying. I'm going to close that warning. And here I am at Round Lake. Beautiful spot. Thanks for visiting. See you another time.